and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Surveil Control to kick off the stream today. Joined here with my friend David Jones. Hello. That's David. Uh, he's going to hang out with us here today on stream. Uh, also known as Boots Ahead there in Twitch hey chat. That you can, <laughs> he's usually hanging out there in the chat. He's stopping by uh, from out of town on his way passing through town. Um, but anyway, let's let's uh, talk about our, our decks that we have today. We have this donation deck that we're going to be starting with here. Uh, very similar to like the Grixis discard deck that I used to play quite a bit with like uh, Guilds of Ravnica and even Ravnica Allegiance standard in those standard formats. Because we have a control deck that's built around a disinformation campaign. Uh, wanting This is our card advantage engine that not only gets us cards, but also uh, gets rid of cards from our opponent's side. So we're trying to uh, reduce their resources while increasing ours. Of course, we do want to be able to surveil to put this back into our hand. So we have th the full package of thought erasures and discoveries to be able to surveil to put them back. Um, we also have a couple of notion reigns. A card I haven't played too much, but um, honestly is, is a pretty good value for three mana of Surveil to then draw to. Um, I feel like I should just play this card more than I do. I think this is a pretty decent card, and that art is really cool too. Yeah, you remember the card Blood for Bones? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... the. I mean, that card was pretty powerful and standard back then. And then uh, we have a couple Blood Operative also that care about surveilling. Anytime we surveil, if Blood Operative's in our graveyard, you may pay three life and put it back into our hand. There is a really neat uh, party trick. Hey, what's up, Chris? There's a really neat party trick where if we, let's say you play like a Discovery and you surveil two and one of the top cards is Blood Operative, you can put the Blood Operative into the graveyard and it still counts as you surveilling, so then you can just pay three life and pick oh, it up. Oh, spicy. So yeah, we'll see if we ever get to do that uh, cool thing. The... And then Bleak of an Eye is a pretty interesting choice here where um, since we have like all this this discard with like extra campaigns, our opponent's probably going to empty their hand kind of quickly or like at least before we kill them. And we can uh, Blink of an Eye, put a, like a spell back into their hand and then play Disinformation Campaign and make them discard it. Well, that's just good synergy. Yep. Or uh, we could also just use Blink to pick up our campaign also. So we can also do that. <laughs> that's just good deck building. <laughs> um, I'm a little worried about our mana base with... Basic Island, Basic Mountain for the Dragon God. We have a couple of Field of Ruins also. Um, so I'm a little worried about that, but Field of Ruin is just a pretty powerful card right now with all of the Field of the Dead. So I understand wanting to um, wanting to get that. But I, I've never really liked Basic Mountain in these decks with just very, very few actual red man, you know, red cards, you know, like and with all these double black or blue black cards, but I don't think it. I don't think it should be too much of a trouble. Um, we got sabotages in the, in the sideboard instead of going like negates or disdainful strokes. We're just going uh, the three the three mana counter everything. Our deck has a whole lot of twos anyway, so we don't have to worry about like trying to make sure our negate lines up or our disdainful stroke lines up or anything like that. We just get get them going on here. All right, so uh, no 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 card style for Bedevil. All right, so let's go ahead and play this deck through a league. That's what we always do with our donation decks. Is that lightly salted in chat? Yeah. Brother, what is up? How have you been? You've been on the download for a little bit. Hope everything's all right. All right, Grixis Surveil Control. Here we go. How many wins are we going to get? We're going to get exactly... I think we're going to go 4-2. Two. 4-2? Four, two? Okay. Yeah. I think we're going to get randomly paired against a burn deck and get destroyed. Mm. That can happen. That can happen. Probably not the same guy. Oh. Okay. Well, there's uh, someone called Lightly Salted that uh, hadn't seen in a minute. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, so is a different Lightly Salted? I guess so. Because, yeah, I know the Lightly yeah. Salted that you're talking about. Yeah. I guess this is a different lightly lightly salted, huh? Lightly saltier, <laughs> slightly saltier. Hey, what's up, Wake? Hey, Wake. Yeah, Frenzy is just like the perfect card against Grixis decks. Very hard to stop that card. 
All right, we got good mana. We get that one life. Dismal backwater. It's all right. We're gonna start off strong. Yeah, I like I like having making sure that we can hit our land drops with a deck like this. Almost ten years. Okay, so yeah, definitely not the the same lightly salted. I apologize. Yeah, I, I feel like the other lightly salted has like one of the E's is like a three or something like that. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. I, I feel like that. Like maybe like. Still, we're glad to have you, newly salted. <laughs> So they could just be regular teamer. Could have. <laughs> Do I even want blink of an eye? I mean, I want hey, spells. There's the uh, thing you were literally just talking about. Yep. Yeah, we get to pick this up. Um, Achievement unlocked this soon. The thing is, is we want spells, but blink of an eye isn't really that good here. So it's kind of rough. So you're just gonna bin it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a better spell. Okay. Uh, Sancreus wants to know if this is the two-headed giant format. No, no. Um, I think he's referring to the fact that there's two of us. Oh, <laughs> I gotcha. Chandra's Ember Cat. So team elementals, or maybe. Yeah, probably elementals and Chandras and stuff. I, I don't want to though. All right, we got the Blood Operative in play. We're drawing spells. Yeah, Carnival Carnage would fit in here. Absolutely. We're playing... There's a couple disfigures in here, but Carnival Carnage could fit in for that same slot there. Yeah, we have not seen the rare lands yet. Oh, still? Yeah. So, oh, geez. So I guess that'll be next week. Probably, you know, I think next week's the last week of... More Chandra's Embercats. All right, so they got to be a Risen Reef deck. Hey, Blue Jin, what's up? They gotta be a Risen Reef deck. Hey, Samantha. Matt. Yep, Blue Jin, Necrolepsy, Samantha. What's up, doing, everybody? Bro? Yeah, it's a good, good point there, team. We already did have the, the blink. Whenever we're keeping that other one. So yeah, this is yeah, if they got quasi duplicate, this is definitely a Risen Reef. With Field of the Dead. Okay. I can dig it. So the main question is I mean I guess it's just enter the God Eternal. So that was like Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's a pretty easy play. Yeah. Kinda wanna play Blood Operative, but and like save removal to get something better than a two two. I see. What's the occasion for the two-headed giant? Well, uh, we wanted to host today, you know, DJ's peanut butter and jelly. So. No, I'm, I'm just passing through and uh, wanted to say hi. I just got finished with an assignment in D.C. and driving home to Atlanta. It's an 11-hour trip. I figured I'd bust it up into two days. Well, so, yeah, because I just got off work this morning. I've had an hour of sleep since... Mm, noon yesterday. Well, our opponent is just kind of flooded out. They're not playing anything. They may have... I was going to shock. So they're a Cavalier Flame, a flame deck and like Tamiyo. So they're trying to mill over a whole bunch of cards. That's why they have like the quasi-duplicate they can cast from the graveyard after they mill over a bunch of stuff. And then, yeah, trying to use Cavalier Flame to... To do some damage. Oh, see, I can't even use a, a DJ joke because it's DJ hotness. It just trumps every joke that I <laughs> thought about. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see, unfair bone rusher giant. All right, let me look that up while Todd does his thing. Game win. I haven't looked at any new spoilers today. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, snap. It's a turtle. All right, so our opponent's playing Cavalier of Flame, Tamio. Like, Noxious Grass really good against Tamio, not good against Cavalier of Flame. Okay, that seems busted. I kind of want Sinister Sabotages here. They're, you know, a little slower. Looks like they have, like, a lot of expensive cards to play, like four and five mana cards. But to... I mean, we'd have to cut some threes if we bring in Sabotage, which I guess Blood Operative would be the threes. Like, if we cut Blood Operative, Blink, Disfigure, play Sabotage... You sure you want to cut the Disfigures? I think so, and kind of bring in, like, these these things instead. See, being on the play? Mm. Maybe three Sabotage? Yeah. Because just, like, Cast Down also kills Risen Reef life, like Disfigure does, but then Cast Down can kill, like, the Cavaliers and Very stuff true. also. Yeah, Tamio is really good against our strategy. That is true. Uh, the R means that we're going to play it in ranked. That's what the R means. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> for this one. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Donation deck. There we go. This is a typo. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over the spoilers tonight and take a look. Fayborough Elder, huh? Okay. Oh, that's a good draw. This backwater is still dismal. <laughs> so the Thought Razor could hopefully snag that uh, Risen Reef that they have in their hand. Yep. I did see the Bone Crusher Giant. That looks busted. Wow. Uh, okay. I guess they really want that Risen Reef. That's a jerk move. Veil of Summer. <laughs> Yeah, they do have some really good cards against us with Veil, Ooh. Veil of Summer and Tamio, because Tamio says he can't discard cards anymore. Um, Super so Notion Rain, right? Good Notion Rain, get rid of two lands. It's a so good chance I'm going to cast Ritual Sit next turn, but maybe not. We'll see. If there's a Tamio, we can go Noxious. We can pair up Noxious Grasp and Thought Erasure. You know, there's a Risen Reef, so. Looks like it's Ritual of Soot. Yep. Definitely want to clear that board. Um, Is the mana good for Nicole Bolas next turn? No, not oh, with, field, not. Not with yeah. field of Ruin. We could, we could go with Blood Crypt and see if we draw a land. Yeah, if you want to go that line. But I think I'm going to go... You don't want to take the two? No, I'm going to go this way because this this allows me to still go Grasp or Cast Down plus Thought Erasure for the next turn. Okay. So we can we can double spell with those while playing the Blood Crypt. Oh, perfect card. They should be minusing. Okay, they, they did that correctly. I have A lot of people just tick up, ancestors. but that should be a minus. Uh, that'll work. My research has been compromised. And obviously we gotta do that first. <laughs> yep. That would have been bad if we led with... <laughs> the sequencing would have been terrible. Uh, I think it's just Risen Reef here, isn't it? We have one mountain. Double Chandra is gonna be really hard to beat, though. Yeah. Well, we can get Nicole Bolas online. Start chewing away those lands. Or if you can just somehow get them empty-handed, dispersal will be pretty decent. It's true. Oh, hey, look. That allows you to do the thing. If there was only one Chandra, I would have thought Erasured it. Again. 
but there's two of them. So we're gonna start looking for like an answer to the Chandra. Well, that's not good that Cloud can see her with their worst cards. Cloud can see is really not that bad. Whoa. What? Oh. It wrecked us. A really random so Collision rude. Colossus. That's really random. I wish I could Field of Ruin basic lands. We'll be paid. Take out this mountain. <laughs> can you do both? I can't go that and Thought Erasure because of this Field of Ruin. So I... Uh, I think I still do this, though. Still trying to dodge that, that land. Oh, hey, there we go. All of our problems are solved. Oh, they got rid of one. Even better. Let your weak minds crumble. No red land, no, no red, red land. land. No red land. One time. If they want a collision colossus again, we got the cast down. Yeah, that, that collision colossus really was random, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I mean, it, it did the job. Yeah, I guess they have it for Nicobolus the Ravager. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Do they have a red land in here? No. Okay, so Thought Erasure plan is no longer on the table. Um, we could Dispersal, actually. True, good call, good call. Let's see, and that still leaves us with enough mana to Thought Erasure. Oh, really? To the library. Is there anything cool for me to minus? My Nicol Bolas? I can minus and grab Noxious Grasp and kill the Tamiyo. That actually would probably be better than Dispersal. But I don't think your Nicol take, Bolas is going to be... Yeah, that would take all my loyalty. Yeah. What are you... Oh, Nikki B. They're playing multiple unclaimed territories with these Chandras. Amazing. And that's two red sources they mulled over. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna get rid of Nicol Bolas. I will not get rid of that thing. Okay, I like where we're at at the moment. Those are all three busted guards. Mm -hmm. We can only take two of them. Ooh. Probably agent here? You just, so score, like a, you just score in the Risen Reef. Yeah, but they just take a land. Is that really that bad if we have one of our lands gone? Well, I assume you're going to play Nicole Bolas next turn. Yeah. Hey, Gustavo. Hmm. Because, like, this still draws a card. And so, like... Well, how many? There are, what, two lands off? Do you think we can deal with it before then? Yeah, there, there, te there are technically three lands off a of field of the dead. Well, I guess it depends on and I have... if they play a card from their hand. If they don't, then we just Nicole Bolas away the, the agent. It all depends if they play that card they draw. Yeah, I'll still do this. I was definitely really considering not, not doing... That was the thing that I was wondering if I wanted to discovery or not. Okay. So let's see if they play this, because then they just lose their last card. Well, it's all fine. good. They're keeping Agent of Treachery. They discard Negate. Ah, huh, joke's on you. Tyrant Scorn's pretty sweet. <laughs> Bounce. 
All right, so we got game two, but winning game three is going to be tough. They have a lot of good stuff that's good against us. Yeah, it's not so much that they don't have seven mana. They, eventually, they would. They, they have but, a you lot know, of... we have something to deal with it, so it's not a big deal. They have a lot of good stuff against us. Oof. That's a good one. So would you rather get back five mana? So if we flip Nicol Bolas here, would you rather get five mana Nicol Bolas or six mana Chandra? Uh, or Agent of Treachery and steal their Field of the Dead? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> choices. Oh wait, we, we won game one. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I was thinking, you know, I, I, don't know, I was thinking <laughs> that we are about to have to go to a game three. No, I told you, we're going to start off strong. We're going to lose to the red deck and then uh, go four two. No, nah, we're going five five wins. Five wins? All right. Yeah. All right. Definite five wins here. Yeah, bouncing Ravager is pretty nice there. Just get the discard back in there again. That's a good one. That's pretty good. Noxie. We got sub battle stream. Hey, Starman. Welcome. Uh, uh, uh. They haven't previewed a gingerbread planeswalker yet, have they? Uh, no, they haven't. At least I don't think. I haven't checked today. I really don't like this Field of Ruin Mountain thing yet. Alright, so I'm just going to be Field of Ruin so we get a, another Black Source in play. And this looks like... The, like this is likely Night Feather. Day. Yeah, and... Naya Feather doesn't play very many uh, green sources. But still, I'd rather have, like, Bedevil available here. Hey, what's um, up, Starman? Oh, they had a forest. Darn. I'd rather have Bedevil available on this turn. Anyway, but... What oh, okay. What? All right, so it's, it's probably, like, the five-color Golos deck. Oh, okay. What's up, Gustav? Boot to the head here. I'm doing well. How about yourself? If not. Hey, Noxie. Hey, Noxie. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're playing against Noxie right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. So, Noxie's stopping by. Say hi. Oh, no. Not Teferi. Not Teferi. Teferi is so good against Kefnet. Because, like, not only does the bounce, like, just completely shut you down, but then also you can't, can't play it. Yeah. yeah, I can't do instant speed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Noxie's like, wait, what? I'm playing against you? Let me close the stream. Didn't even see it. <laughs> just stop by. It says today storm count 14. No, Didn't it reset after yesterday? Huh. <laughs> Um, we really need lands. So, I'm casting this. Come on. Because we really need lands. Alright, that's a land. It's a pretty good land, too. It doesn't mean I don't timely. I don't get to bedevil because it's not a black source. Still worried about how many black sources we have, but uh, we get to see how field, field of Ruin can be pretty strong. You know, taking out Field of the Dead that's that's big game. Like that's this that's might be definitely really idea. nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> to admit, Noxie's hand has been just incredible here, though. Didn't even matter. Well, I don't, I don't really know 
what we can do. Hmm. See, Tafiri can't bounce Kefnet into. Yeah, I mean, I guess Kefnet. Yeah. Don't worry, I got this. Another field of ruin might help. Oh, next is a fate. Ooh. So now Teferi gets to bounce Kefnet. Yep. Didn't see that coming. Oh, I've done the hero. Well, Moxie's hand was really incredible. I guess ritual will help us survive a couple more turns. Yeah, we got two ritual of sets. But I don't know, could just be some more nexuses here. Oh no, big jellyfish. Yikes. So we. <laughs> two twos are, are gonna be really tough. Yeah. Do we have legions then? No. No, there aren't any legions ends in this list. So even like Krasis and everything. So we're gonna have we're gonna go with like the ritual of sets. We got the unmoored egos. Um, we could try going with sa sabotage, I guess. What does that hit? What do we care for? Like, I don't know, just cir circuitous routes. Um, you know, Nexus, even a big Krasis and Teferi and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Um, and we just don't like disfigure is not not any good. Yeah, it's, no, Blood it's operative is not any good. Blink of an eye has looked pretty bad. Into the God Eternals is it really isn't very good. Uh, we could play a Noxious Grasp that can kill that can kill some stuff. Like Noxious Grasp is just an upgrade over Tyrant Scorn. Um, I guess this. Yeah, we, we could go Scorn instead of Blink. How do we? I got, we got the devils. Okay, so that's how we kill Golos. We have the devil. I think I like the scorn over blinks, honestly, because they can kill jellyfish. Is there any way that cast down is better than scorn? I don't think so. I think scorn kills all the same yeah. things that that does, but then scorn also has the bounce effect. Right. Whereas cast down does not kill Golos. All right, so I used that Field of Ruin on turn three because, you know, I thought we were playing against Naya Feather. But if I would have saved that Field of Ruin, would have had two Field of Ruins for, for mm. both Field of the Deads if I would have saved it. You know, look, looking back in hindsight, but right. I just thought we were playing against a different matchup. All right, this looks decent. You want to not save that for campaign? We have the notion rain to pick up campaign also already. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, and Nicol Bolas is really good too. We're just gonna need to find red mana, but between notion rain, thought erasure, and stuff, and campaign also, I think we can find red mana. Okay, now we just uh, start stripping their hand. There hey, we go. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Uh, just play perfectly. That's how you win games. Campaign is pretty good in this matchup because like the less the less resources our opponent's deck has, the harder it is to keep hitting land drops and right. for Field of the Dead and everything. So like each resource really is important for them. Well, that's just rude. Hmm. Game plan A. <laughs> Go to the backup plan. So I think Notion Rain's actually a better card to play right now. I would agree with that. But the problem is we're going to have to discard a bunch of cards if we do that. Um, because we... Is there anything we were scared about on turn four? Because of picking I up campaign. So, Because then I'd be able to Thought Erasure plus campaign. Oh. Hmm. Goals are drawn. 
Like Golos guarantees them the field. So this gets two cards. This is two cards also because it's the three five mm -hmm. that, that t trades with a bedevil plus it gets a land. So I'm gonna take the Golos because that that trades. It guarantees it honestly. Yeah, like that trades with the bedevil also. Alright, time to start taking cards. Yeah, I just I love taxing the resources here. Yep. I will return one. Yeah, Dragon God is amazing. My intellect is without limit. Who thought of Razor off the top one time? Yeah, I guess Agent of Treachery is gonna be kinda tough. That that uh rejuvenator speeding them up turn really hurt me. Because, you know, I thought they were just going to be casting Drawn from Dreams this last turn, and then they'd have five mana this turn. So that really hurt. Yeah, not a thought. Well, maybe we get a Thought Erasure here. Uh, nope. No! I can either Notion Rain and look for Thought Erasure. I like that plan. Or just Campaign. If you can just stop the Thief, then we can just keep rolling with our Bolas. Yeah, because honestly, picking up. I mean, we have yep. a devil to deal with it after they take it, but I'd rather not have to do that. Yeah, because honestly, picking up. If I would go the other way, you know, like we'd have to discard like an extra card. Oh, than what we were gonna need to. Guess they have another one. Yeah, probably is just another agent treachery. Yep. Acorn Lover. My schemes have been foiled. <coughs> I outsmarted you eons ago. So we have a lot more Darn. Money. Are we not? We're one mana short. Okay. Uh. What is it you wanted to do? I want to kill Agent of Treachery and then Dispersal because it puts the Dragon God back in our hand and they have to discard. I like that plan. But the Agent of Treachery is in the way. So we have to kill the Agent of Treachery first. Okay. Um, so, so I guess I can another. just Bedevil an Ego here. It, that's a pretty neat plan, honestly. Um, they'd hit you one more time with Bolas, but in at eight. Yeah. then can't they just minus the bolus and get it back? What am I taking from their deck? Maybe I don't actually take anything. Could take Golos, Hydroid, Krasis. I know, there's too, there's too many good cards. Yeah. Golos, Krasis. Probably Krasis. Field honestly. of the Dead. Um, Nexus. Field is a good one, too. I'm going to take Nexus. You're going to take Nexus? Okay. Because if we don't, they could just ultimate... Nicol Bolas. Yeah, that would kind of be bad. <laughs> okay, their hand's garbage. Whoa! Alright, what do we have in here? One Krasis, a Teferi, two Krasis, two Teferis, three Teferis, and one more Golos. Alright, it's so not a whole lot left besides just the, all the Field of the Dead stuff. Did you notice stuff. Noxie has the Gingerbread Lady's sleeves? Yeah. Yeah, you get this for the pre-order. If, if you do the pre-order. Um, Fire Ritual? No, I need the Ritual of Sucks. <laughs> that's, that's the most important. Like, that's yeah, really I mean, important. Is, you can't really do the plan you were wanting to do. Well, I guess we could. Defiance is infuriate. <laughs> You have no hey HXC, doing good. How do you do? How do you donate a deck? There's uh, information down below in the info panel about donating for a deck. Um, you know, you just follow, like, just click on the link there, and um, it's just a twenty dollar donation. You pick what day you want me to play your deck and what time slot. 
And it's as easy as that. So I'm hoping to draw a land here to be able to notion rain also. They drew Arch of Araska. That's going to draw them a bunch of cards. Yeah, you. beating Field of the Dead is going to be tough from here, but that's that's basically all we have to do is beat Field of the Dead. Oh, that's and, and Crisis. That's going to be difficult. And Crisis isn't difficult to beat with Nickel Bolas, but Field of the Dead is. Yeah, you can definitely do donation decks for M20 standard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can do you can do whatever format. Um, you know that best of one. I honestly don't know why Noxie grow spiraled there. Since we, you know, since the ritual of so was revealed, and now like we had to play ritual of so. Okay, cool. A team or flash deck that awesome. Here goes nothing. Gross. Yeah, that's gonna be really tough to beat. Uh, okay. Um Yeah, we we just can't beat this. This is the, the struggles of not playing Legion's End. What do we have left in the arsenal? Oh, hey. But, I mean, they, they get to just do this every single turn with having yeah. two Field of the Deads with Archer Roska. It's just going to be two to four zombies every turn, and I really can't compete with that. No, not really. Um, Yeah, like... Yeah, you know, because every card in their deck is either land or gets a land. Yeah. So. I think there's a 0% chance we can win this. Yeah. Unfortunately. All right, Starman. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Well. Yep. Pack it in. <laughs> Oh, going to Iowa, huh? Where at in Iowa? Why is the one not work there? There we go. All right, one and one. GG. I mean, I, I could have said Field of the Dead with the Unmoored Ego. Like, that's what the Unmoored Ego is for. But they already had one Field of the Dead in play. But maybe I was still supposed to say Field of the Dead. GG, Noxie. Yeah, I... Yeah, your your hands. Yeah, you drew really well. Got us pretty bad. <laughs> Age of Treachery is so rough and everything. I know that's why I had to kill the Age of Treachery before dispersaling, so that slowed me down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't like it. But... You don't like this hand. Mm -mm. On the draw. I don't like it really either. <laughs> How about that shuffler? I like this more though. The lands are important. See, Prairie Rose State Park. You grew up in Omaha, in Omaha, Nebraska? Okay. Yeah, so I, I had a couple assignments in Des Moines, and uh, I've been to a couple places, uh, Dubuque. Matter of fact, did you know that Pella, Iowa, was actually just rated the third best city in the United States? No. Yeah, Pella's pretty cool. I've been there. Where is it? Like, what part of the state is that in? Uh, if I'm, if I remember correctly, it's on the east side. It's like near a triangle of uh, cities that are in three different states. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, because uh, me and a buddy we went to drink at a, a brewery in Pella and then went to someplace in Illinois and then someplace in Wisconsin. Oh, okay. All in one day. 
See, lands are important. So we have a decent hand. We get to play all this stuff. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Rise, my elemental friend. Hmm. You ever get out Denver? Um, the farthest west I've been, I guess if you don't count Alaska, would be uh, Tuba City, stand. Arizona. In exchange for eternal the Navajo servitude. Reservation. But Denver sounds like a great place to be. Heard a lot of good stuff about that one. Please, no more Nissas. Yay, no more Nissas. Yeah, that's good. I have other plans. Bolus is Citadel? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, is it Golgari Citadel? Yeah, and I didn't auto tap that too well. I really don't want to shock. Uh, doesn't look like you have a choice. I mean, unless you wanted to. So we'll just wait. Okay. Pretty awesome. Just need our housing market to settle down. Well, at least we can cast Tyrant Score now. I don't. I honestly don't know how I beat Bolus of Citadel. It's just like Experimental Frenzy, just impossible for us to beat. We don't pressure their life total at all. <laughs> That's a good target. So they just had trophy on top. They did, and then then played Jade Light afterwards. Well, they, Jade Light was on the stack, right? Like they, they well, played it from their library. No, they they played it from their hand. Did so they? like they they knew they had trophy on top. They should just be trophy sure in the land. The no, because they they tapped the five mana. They played Wild Growth and Jade Light with their five mana here. They really should just cast the, the trophy off the top of the library and then see what the next card is. Nature's true power. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're really dead. Hey, Gatsby, what's up? Hey, Gatsby. Let's see, from Ohio. I uh, live in Denver since 06. Okay. Whereabouts in Ohio? I've got family up there. Uh, Toledo, uh, Salina, Lima. So, like, Midwest Ohio. I don't want to show my opponent that we have more basics. Because there's... No chance we can win this. Arena. Uh oh. Looks like Arena froze. Oh, there we go. So Noxious Grasp, absolutely. Um, do we have any way to deal with it at all? Yeah, we have. Thankfully, it's an artifact, so we do have Bedevils that can kill okay. an artifact. All right then. So we're gonna have to save. So I need to make sure to save Bedevil for Citadel. Uh, Ritual seems decent. Just yeah, we yeah board. we need all the rituals. Definitely need all the rituals. Cast down's good too. I think I'm gonna actually just play sabotages. Okay. I know they can have like the 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 veil of summer, which is just so good against me. But yeah, this figure doesn't do anything. These you know trying to trying to deal with like Nissa and Bolus's Citadel and all these cards after they hit the battlefield is yeah. really tough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've been there. All right. Oh, no, Celine, this is a... Uh, it's boot to the head. Nice to meet you. So I'm down to 62 cards. You got to cut two more? Yep, got to cut two more. All right. I'm just going to cut the cast downs. So, yeah, you play Ego, Unmoored Ego, whenever it's, uh, whenever you get to take a card from the opponent's deck that 
cripples the deck. Um, so basically, I played against like Nexus of Fate, Field of Ruin. Um, yeah, so like basically like combo-ish type decks like that. Ooh, this is a strong one. I think there's there's something else he played against, but I can't. Those are the two off the top of my my head. Hey, Whopper Stopper. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Our second sub of the day. Alright, so taking the Veil of Summer because that's counterspell draw card for one mana, which is just really broken. <laughs> hmm. It's better to get campaign in play and get that going, but I don't yeah. But then we have to deal with that. You just want to counter it? Yeah, I think I just want to counter it. So I don't mind tapping out. Oh, whoops. I meant to update the sub goal, which I already already did. That deals with it. You don't want to deal with the walker? No, this does too. I, I want to find more impactful cards. Okay. At this point. Also, wouldn't mind another land being able to Thought Erasure plus Campaign again this next turn. Hey, yeah, we gotta that's get that. a good target. Yeah, we gotta get that thing out of here. I like how they discarded their land. Uh, Ritual of Soot would, would be another good good card to find. Land, Ritual of Soot. No, I guess we're just gonna double Thought Erasure. Could just go Thought Erasure Grasp and kill mm. the... No, I think, I think we just dig yeah. for Ritual of Soot. Seems better. More uh, land. This thing's basically a land. Is it though? Yeah, it digs pretty far. I'll well, just get rid of it. We already have dig with campaign. Okay. Almost yep. stabilized. Yep, just gotta find sit. There hey, see what I tell you. There we go. <laughs> that was good. We didn't take, keep that other one. See, told you so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that can give a red source. Hooray! Yay! Thanks, opponent. Thank you. See, basic mount is good. That's what I said the whole time. You did indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, that is that's a draw. What should we take? Oh, that's a good draw too. All right, not taking anything. All right, Let him have land. it all. Land, yes! All right. Here we go. Now we just really need one more draw step, and then if we untap, have sabotage. Nom, 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 it's nom, definitely nom. over. It will resonate throughout the multiverse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. We have the. The exact Let basic land mana base for the Dragon Swamp. God. Three Swamp, one Island, one Mountain. That's eh, As long as it's not anything you can play. Yeah, because... Alright, yeah, Jade Light was about as good as they yeah. could do. Not too bad. Because, yeah, they... Like, the best cards were, like, Citadel and Nyssa. Well, they couldn't play Citadel... But yeah, they couldn't play either because the, the two mana. Time claims walk by intellect is without Should limit. we have played campaign first and then ticked up bolas? So they didn't have any cards at hand and have to chew through their lands? Yeah, but then but then I don't because they... I'm holding up sabotage. Okay. And so then they would ha they would be able to keep the two one Jade Light to attack Nickel Bolas. Yeah, but devil. Yeah, they can have that. I go, 
I leave bodies. It's pain is our no, game. <laughs> no ceilings. You said you're trying to figure out the win con. Do you, do you, this one minus eight. Opponent loses the game. <laughs> that's that's what we're gonna be doing here. Oh, I, was getting bored anyway. I mean, they're at thirty-one, but it just doesn't matter. So yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna be doing there. All right, so I like I like having the sabotages. Yeah, it came in handy. Definitely felt so more safe. So on the draw, we just gotta hope that they don't turn one line of war. Is that what it is? Jacob, with the donation deck. Oh nice. Play it Sunday fourth time slot. I actually no, I do not. Or that's yes, that that slot's available. You're good. So yeah, Sunday fourth, you are good. I had a deck for Sunday 3rd and Saturday 4th. So, yep, you are good. So, that's the Teamer Flash deck for M20 ranked. Uh, mana base is not so good, but you don't have all the lands, but then Sunday 4th time slot. All right, awesome. Thank you so much there. I'm just going to run it back. <laughs> hey, peeps. Wearing well, a tie, wearing a tie is my thing. Yeah, Not yeah. everybody does that. Yeah, we uh, we explained it earlier how um, you know, we're the host of the show and this is DJ business and casual. <laughs> Hardest matchups are Gates and Mono Red. Okay. Well, we can deal with that. And yeah, I'll, um, what's up? Go and write uh, ranked on there. Cause it, you want to ranked? Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, so one blue source so far. Oh, turn one land of war. Dang it. Yeah, turn one land of war on the play. I mean, it, it's crazy that it's gone through an entire year of standard and never lost yet, but still, turn one land of war on the play. a first for everything, Mr. Stevens. It's unbeatable. And a turn three Nissa is, well, we have to grasp, I guess. But still, oof. Hey, look, there's that turn three miss that we called. <laughs> Gross. Play a land with a triggered ability. Come on. Oh, they already did. Never mind. I am in need of rest. All right, we got four ritual sets in the deck for a reason. Yeah, this is just a. This is like a spring floral tie. Basically. Okay, that's good. Did did my opponent just not attack? Uh, or no, I guess they did. Yeah. I think. I think they attacked. Yeah, it's yeah, dismal, right? Yeah, I gained a life okay. with dismal yeah. and I gained a life with noxious grasp, mm -hmm. but they attacked at the land of war for one and then that fourth. I need them to play this card. Play that card. <laughs> so they have to discard it. Oh, nuts. Oh, they, I mean... Yeah, we're going Ravager. Um, and just hope they don't hit the land? Yeah, because they, ha they well, have... Well, they can still play it. They need a black source. Oh, they, yeah, you're right. Ooh. So they need a black it's source. Close. And then Bedevil kills it, destroys an artifact. So Bedevil would be able to destroy it. Ooh, got a Nissa. Wow, they just... Oh, come they on! Just, they discard the Nissa that they could Jeez. cast. Jeez. For the Bedevil. All right. Or oh, like wait. For, they didn't. Oh, oh. So no Black Source. I bet sorry, it's a land wait. on top. It's probably a land on top. That's why. Yeah, so it's a land on top. That's what I meant to say. Oh, we got lucky. We dodged a bullet. Is it the land? Yep. Okay. It was land. Huh. Yeah, yes. Was... So now do I do I go greedy and get, get Dragon God in play? Dragon or... God. 100%. Okay. All right. Then we're going to hold up Sabotages for... For the end of days. Yeah, for the rest of the time. <laughs> the immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Right, it's probably going to be like a Wild Growth Walker or something off the top. Something just meant. Okay, I like that. I like Wild Growth Walker off the top here. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Wild Growth. No, it looks like a... No! Oh, no! A Wild Growth Trophy. Need to have sabotage up. I guess so. If I would have held up sabotage, then the next turn, 
No, we still would not have been able to go Dragon God yeah. with Sabotage uh, next turn. No, the flood. Uh, please draw a spell. Let me Sabotage. Thank you. Let me get the Surveil in here. Ritual of Sit. Yep. Take Sit or another Ravager. So, hey, look at this. It's like we uh, yay. know how to play this game. <laughs> All right, they're down to just four lands now. All right. Now we draw a disinformation campaign. Oh, God, that'd be so good. Huh? All right, that's not bad, not okay. bad. I could dispersal, make them to discard magic that card. <laughs> Hashtag magic is easy. <laughs> All right, you get over here, you get over here. Let's try again. Spin the wheel. Just keep digging, just keep digging. <laughs> Campaign would be a pretty decent draw here. Hmm. No, not this time, right? Not this turn? Yeah, not this time. Yeah, because they could have trophy. Yeah. All right, next turn. That does dig quite a bit. Yeah. And that can be that can be three resources. So they get a land and they can just oh interesting wants to be spells on top we don't want them to get free lands oh dress nice all right they got one free land uh, so do we just blow up the ranger? yeah probably oh well, I mean we do have noxious grass oh yeah and then probably with the noxious grass not probably with the nickel bolus. Okay. My revenge will be painful. My schemes are never ending. The problem is if they draw Nissa, that's kind of the problem. Draw like Yu Gi Oh! and you win magic. <laughs> Thank you for not attacking first. Alright, Dragon God. Go to work. Down to four. See, you may think our opponent's at 23, really they're at 4. <laughs> you have no weakness, I our opponent's at 4. The life out of them. Yuck. We've gone through a lot of lands. 3, 6, 8, no, 9, 10, 11. Don't target that. Okay. 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 out of 24. There's only 24 lands. So 15 out of 24 halfway through our deck. Hey, look at that combo. Yeah, that's a good combo. No! I can't believe they've never fixed that bug of him saying no like that. Whenever <laughs> it's supposed to, it's supposed to be saying no whenever like whenever he, he meets his downfall. All right, want to draw it? Nope. Want to draw sinister sabotage? One time. I mean, you can't really say one time. We have drawn really well. Spell. 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 Yeah, that's a good spell. But no free lands. All right. So I think we just win, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah. We just tick up, and then they play their eight, Jade Light. They play and Jade Light, and then they lose. Sweet. All right, two and one. Okay. We had the Clutch Bedevil for that Bolus of Citadel. Your two didn't work. I must not have, like, the Numlock on over here or something. Yeah, that's what it was. Yep. Hey, Sanguine. No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ponage Factory. Ernie's being really choppy today. I'm going to try to answer the wife like that whenever she asks a yes or no question. <laughs> You're going to nickel Did nickel you wash bolus? the dishes? No! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sargentino Pepper. Did you take the dogs out? No! Okay. 
Uh, I am uh, DJ Pineapple. This is DJ Pizza. So. Otherwise, aka boot to the head. Two risen reese. That's cheating. That blood operative man. And that's twice. You, yeah. You've done this twice now. It's a, it is a neat party trick when it when it works. I swear there's an achievement for this. <laughs> Get another thought erasure. Take this other risen reef. It's only fair. Doctor, doctor, doctor says, uh, "Doctor, what's up, fam? How's the pet Friday? Friday's going great. So, cube doctor, doctor cube, I guess. Or three doctors. Three doctors. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Um, yeah, Friday's going great. We got boot here. Got some fun decks." Really looking forward to playing Sultai Arcbow. And I changed up the deck. I, I've always played... Hmm. I want a Bedevil Risen Reef, but I also want to just do this. Come on, hit the land drop. Yay. I've always played, like, Frilled Mystic in, in the Arcbow decks, and I, I think I'm coming around to maybe just moving away from Frilled Mystic, and we'll see how it goes without Frilled, without Frilled Mystic. Ah, they're a Flood of Tears deck. Hmm, Omni Tears probably. Yeah, I could see that. It's not that like Frilled Mystic isn't. It's like there is like some tension between playing like Frilled Mystic and Chupacabra, where like if they play a creature, it's like well if you respond with it on the stack and you hit Chupacabra, then then you don't get to destroy it, or if you let it resolve, then you hit Frilled, Frilled Mystic afterwards. Like, it's some tension there that I don't love. I also don't love this Cavalier Thorns. They just block with a Grazer, I assume. Hmm. Do we go with uh, your boy Kevin? I think I need a Bedevil, either Tamiyo or Cavalier. I'm not sure which one I would want to Bedevil, but I think I need a Bedevil, one of those two. I'd probably go with Tamiyo over a Cavalier. Right? Because if it's an Omni tier deck, that's how they like cycle, right? They just play it over again, then Tamiyo minus, play it again. Yep, yep. But now, whenever Cavalier dies, they get the Tamiyo back. Uh, yep. Five spells. Nice. I guess if we can if we can empty their hand, we get to dispersal the cavalier. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I like that plan. Um hmm. I really wish we had one more land and we could thought erasure plus campaign. That'd be so good. So probably just Discovery hit that land? Yeah, I guess Discovery then Thought Erasure. I mean, we could yeah. Discovery campaign, but... So we might as well just Thought Erasure first. Gross. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Tilt. <laughs> Still need to hit that land. Yeah, but I kind of need a double dispersal. Need to dispersal this thing and dispersal this thing. Okay. But you don't have the mana. That's going to be rough. Not right now, but that's what our draw step's for. Ah, I see. If we don't draw a land, we're going to be in trouble. Curiosity and wonder. That's the plan. Lies beyond vision. Draw an untapped land, that's the plan? Yep. It's a good plan. It's our plan. Untap land. I get behind that plan. Yeah, this will be a little bit of a shorter stream here today, Matthew. That is not... Not an untap land? Mm -mm. However, it does get rid of the reef. 
Is that something? Hmm. This is so rough. Mm-hmm. Because it gets rid of your operative coup. That's a problem. Ugh. So Kefnet can also attack Ugin. They got a couple creatures of reach, though. So we can at least pressure. They're just gonna... Oh, what? Hmm. That was rude. Ethan itself serves. I mean, if we could cast our cards, we would be doing just fine. I just can't cast my cards. There we go. A little late, but... So, it's Ugin first? Right. Okay, chump block mode. Thorns doesn't have trample, right? Just reach, or it does have trample. No, no trample for Cavalier Thorns. No. Okay. I think so, Matthew. We'll see. But yeah, I think next Friday for the set review. Um. But, yeah, not not completely sure. I think I like our chances after sideboarding. It's how you play the hand here, honestly. Kind of like, kind of like our last couple of matches. We're gonna take out some of this nonsense, like take out like these blood operatives and and stuff. And I think we're gonna be doing better after sideboarding. What's our plan? Just scoop. Okay. Yeah, we can't we can't win this. Guess I need to cast discovery. So that blood operative. Let's talk about that. Yeah, it just doesn't ever do anything. It's just not really worth a card. It's if we're playing against specifically against like Esper control or like just like a hard control deck that isn't playing creatures that just plays a lot of removal and doesn't pressure our life total, then Blood Operative can be worth it. But really against anything else, it's just not worth a card. All right, so let's get rid of Blink of an Eye, Blood Operative. Get these Noxious Grasps in. Get rid of this thing. Oh, Steven, yeah. So, uh, I'm Boot to the Head, uh, otherwise known as DJ Match Matchstick, DJ Gasoline. <laughs> We're on fire. <laughs> so. And read this card. Dance of the Mance. Mance? Mancy? What Dance do you of mean? the Mance? What do you mean? Dance of the Mance? Oh, yeah, I guess. Mance? Maybe Mons. What? That is insane. Huh. Oh, so I'm brewing up a uh, artifact deck. Okay. Um, got the inspiration from someone in Discord. It's basically a, a Tezzeret type deal. Nice. And uh, it's got the little claw, wish claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got Karn. So, you know, you give it to them, they can't use it. Pretty okay, pretty that's, a yeah, that's a good combo. That's a good combo. Yeah. Um, it also has the that's a good uh, combo. artifact that untaps other artifacts. So you can tap it with the trigger on the stack, untap it, tap it again with the trigger on the stack, untap it, tap it again. <laughs> Use yeah. up all the counters and then give him an empty wish claw. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, I like that. Because it only costs one mana per activation. You'd yeah. have to have a lot of untapping. Well, I mean, it is a, um, a big mana deck so okay but you have to have a lot of the untapping cards right like what like what are you talking about just voltaic it's a, key no, yeah it's basically voltaic key yeah yeah because that that only untaps at once so you right. have to have two voltaic keys in play and then, yeah, that's and then have that yeah. okay uh plus there's a, a card an artifact creature that untaps a card when it comes into play so that could be fun i guess hey wander yep we got some grixis surveil control Hey, Steven, thank you so much for that tier one sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for that support. I appreciate that. All right, you just send me the list, Matt. I'll take a look at it. Uh, I also have a night deck that I'm working on. Okay. Um, and then, of course, the abs and wolves that we were talking about earlier. That's, yeah. that's shaping up pretty nice. Looks to be a lot of fun. If you like abs and midrange. 
yeah, that's that's the one I'm looking forward to some wolves. Looks like they keep on making wolves as um I mean Tyrant's Corn's not really that bad either. Looks like they keep on making four CMC wolves. Yeah, that slot's getting a little crowded. So they, they shock in for Breeding Pool. That means they have Veil of Summer. Thought Erasure is like a Seems better like... card to, to lead with, but they just get to Cryptic Command it. Veil of Summer makes, our, like, makes the Grixis life so difficult. What is this, the Flash deck? No, the we're playing against the same deck we just played against. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's right. I thought we were at the, the next one already. We all lost game one. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I'm back in it. Game face. Okay, fifth land for bullets, nice. This should get Thought Erasured. Let them do that now. Or okay, whatever, yeah, Bale of mm -hmm. It's already tough playing Grixis. They make it really difficult. I think I want to keep up Noxious Grasp here before. Uh, for Tamio? Yeah. Okay. Like Tamio or Risen Reef. And then hey, be look, able to... they're at 14. That means we're winning, right? Yep. <laughs> and then be able to drop Nickel Bolas on a clear battlefield. I like that plan. I think they're contemplating that. Just hope they don't have a second Veil of Summer. I mean, even the first one is so rough. Hmm. Just a pass, huh? Interesting. Oh, you're just going to jam it. Okay. No fear, Todd. No fear. Nah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. No, I didn't really expect counter magic from them. What's up, Sin Christ? You didn't uh, see that happening? No. Nope. They did have the Tamio. Yeah, so they just held that up instead. How do I, like, how do we win? Um, with this hand? It's gonna be hard. Yeah. Basically, we can't. Is the short of it. It's a big old jellyfish. Um, opponent's just playing a uh, blue-green ramp, basically a Flooded Tears deck. Um, it is it is very good against Grixis control decks, that's for sure. Just basically everything in their deck is good in this matchup. They don't have any bad cards. Oh no! No! What? <laughs> uh... Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> yeah, they. That's a nightmare matchup for us. They really don't have any bad cards. But I needed. I needed. Uh, needed Nicol Bolas to just resolve there. Like, that's. Nicol Bolas is my only hope. The Dragon God. That's my only hope with that matchup. Geometry, Steven. Taught geometry. You don't look like a, a tree. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> okay, well. So there were things about the deck I liked, things about the deck I didn't like. Um, I was interested to try out, you know, like Blink of an Eye, Blood Operative, some, some different card choices, but neither one of those cards looked very good. Uh, they Neither one did. Um, yeah, like Legion's End, I feel like is a removal spell that we just need to have at two mana. 
and even like I know Blink of an Eye can get get rid of like a lot of permanents. Have, you know, even did like thermal use frenzy Blink of an eye at all? Like um, even a single time? Well, yeah, no, we didn't. No, I don't think so. We uh, used Tyrant Scorn on the Bolas instead. Yeah. Wasn't too impressed with either of those cards. I did like the sabotages. I wouldn't mind like having just some some main deck sabotage. Wasn't really impressed with Kefnet or Enter the God Eternals either. But um, yeah, that's a that's a subject. Flitz. Uh, hey six one nine, what's up? Yeah, hey six one nine. Um, Notion Rain was okay. That's kind of like what that card is. I, I didn't really mind those. That basically the problem with Notion Rain is it costs three also with campaign. That's kind of the problem is like that that you get kind of clogged up with threes there, and it's it's hard to double spell with multiple three drops because you know you have to have six mana for that. Um. Yeah, Kef Kefnet wasn't great. We didn't actually get I don't, any cards off of him. Yeah, I don't really like Night Vale Predator. Um, but I feel like I feel like cards like Blood Operative, Kefnet, like, and, and to the God Eternals, even like just like those kind of creatures, we either want to go like a little bit lower than what we have or just go a little bit bigger, a little bit more controlling. Um, Veil of Summer is just such a tough card, though. But even even like the Grixis decks that I usually play, I would not want to play against that blue green deck. Um, you know, filled with Tamios, Cavaliers, Ugins. Jellyfish. Like they they don't have yeah, that card. <laughs> and then obviously the Veil of Summers are just unbelievable. One mana counter your spell and draw a card. They just don't have anything that's bad. Everything is, you know, two for ones or more, and it's just too hard to compete there. Um no, it's not. I would rather have Cry the Carnera than Flame Sweep here for this deck. Um, so going forward, would you switch out any cards? Yeah. Like, what would you take out for sure? I wouldn't play. I mean, Disfigure wasn't really for any of the matchups that we played against. But that is pretty narrow. I don't know if Disfigure should just be... like I think Disfigure is more of a sideboard card and Cast Down is more of a main deck card. I think Cast Down is better against a much wider variety of decks. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really... I didn't really like any of the cards on the top line, basically. Disfigure, Blink, Blood Operative, Kefnet, Enter the God Eternals. Um, yeah, I'd rather have like Cast Down, Legion's End... For better two mana removal, even like Cry of the Carnarium or, um, or uh, Sinister Sabotage over here at three mana, and then Dragon God was amazing, like a, and Ravager was really good too. I wouldn't mind having four of those, but then just other didn't really like either of these threats. Other threats, hey Spanky, yeah, Disfigure is good against a Danto Vanguard, which is which is why I don't mind don't mind like having disfigure but i think that's more of a main deck or sorry more of a sideboard card than a main deck card um thank you so much though for that resub spanky i kind of want more like planeswalkers for threats whether it's ugin liliana chandra you know like that kind of stuff at the top end instead of kefnet enter the god eternals or even at four mana even like hostage taker rekindling phoenix um as other cards there. So disinform so okay, a little aside about disinformation campaign. So this is if we think think about like discovery and disinformation campaign. We're we're taking like our our two drop. You know, uh, it goes through our turns through our deck, but doesn't affect the battlefield. Our three drop draws us a card, makes them discard a card, but doesn't affect the battlefield. So whenever you're playing these kind of cards when you're not affecting the battlefield, you're going to be behind on the battlefield basically every game. Same Thought Erasure also takes a card from their hand, but also doesn't affect the battlefield. So if your opponent's playing creatures, or even like the three mana planeswalkers that are running around, but they're they're playing things onto the battlefield, we're going to be behind. And so the thing about playing Thought Erasure, Discovery, Disinformation Campaign, I mean, Notion Reign's the same way. If you keep that in the deck, you're just always going to be behind. And so therefore effects that can really catch you up when you're behind like ritual of soot um gain a lot more value 
and so playing playing more sweepers with these kind of effects is is generally what you want to be doing instead of a little bit less one for one removal more sweepers because you are already make you're already setting up behind and so you need to get cards that can be two for ones three for ones stuff like that so, so i don't really mind cry the canariums in this kind of deck more ritual of sets like they were like we always need like all of our ritual of sets but even, even something like star of extinction if we go bigger uh where like campaign and discovery can help you hit your land drops but you're still going to be behind later on in the game if you can just hit hit enough land drops kind of stay alive and then star of extinction that could be a way to go to catch up against like these these decks that are you know like our opponent's deck just played so much stuff out and you can't like once we get too far behind we couldn't really catch up yeah unfortunately grix's color is not really a, a big sweeper such as like planar cleansing or uh, uh the five mana one that i'm thinking of yeah they're like black doesn't really have a bigger sweeper than ritual of soot yeah i know yeah so like Esper is kind of a little bit better for disinformation campaign because yeah, then you get Kaya's Wrath, Time Wipe, Cleansing mm -hmm. Nova, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but the but campaign does just as a card pairs really well with Ravager and Dragon God. Mm -hmm. um, but with Esper, you can pair it with like Bell Haunt pairs really well with Bell Haunt um, and uh, Teferi with like Teferi bouncing it, replaying oh, yeah. it. Plus, you get the early you know uh, <clears throat> Kaya's Oath. Yeah, Oath of Kaya and everything. Yeah, it's sad. I like Grixis more than Esper, but Esper just kind of has the better cards for the most part. But Grixis has this card, and this card's incredible. And we saw that with the games that we won there. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's Grixis Surveil Control. So if you're watching later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. And feel free to leave some comments. I always like seeing the comments on the videos as well. But uh, thanks so much for watching Grixis Surveil Control, and I'll see you for the next video.